I'm here to talk about tile nippers. There are two different styles of tile nippers and you would use them depending on what kind of work that you might to want to do and what kind of uh, um, item that you're going to want to nip. So there are wheeled tile nippers. These have a carbide wheel and are generally used with glass. This pair here has uh, steel nippers on it and they have a flat edge. This type of tile nipper works good for using with ceramic tiles. These are porcelain tiles. You could use them on china, uh, stone, things that are, are heavier, that you need a heavier blade. As you can see, the blade is straight across. And to use this nipper, you would um, hold them in your hand with the uh, kind of this uh, rounded edge or this hollow edge here would be considered inside, so inside towards your opposite hand. You, in nipping, you just want to use the edge of the nipper and um, kind of like, you know, when uh, you nip something with teeth or pinch something, it's kind of that same concept. So uh, for this tile, I would take it along the edge and just squeezing it will nip the tile. From that point, you can actually then just take little bits out of this tile by nipping along and um, creating different shapes that you might need to use for fitting. And um, that is the process with these. As you can see, these take a lot more strength and um, but do work good for something that's really heavy. The wheeled nippers uh, it's the same concept as far as how you would hold them. So we have this being the outside of the nipper, the flat side with the wheels towards the inside. These shapes, uh, I started with just a piece of glass that you might have some scrap glass. You can cut strips of any size, any width. And then from there, just um, piece them up into, into squares. From this point, you can use the, the wheeled nippers, again, just along the edge, and um, you will cut these pieces then into uh, rectangles. From the rectangles, you can nip them again into squares, and then from the squares, either into smaller triangles, or you could do um, circles. By kind of placing your thumb there and following that as a guide, and going around, you're actually just nipping off each corner and you have a kind of a rough circle. So whether you can see that or not, you just you have kind of a rough circle. Um, from there, you can obviously go into half circles and just kind of nip away. Another way to use them is if you kind of hold them at an angle, uh, you can get kind of shards, what you call it, um, shards, and you know, kind of get these little um, half moon or half rounded shapes. And um, it gives you a whole variety of things that you can, shapes that you can cut out really quickly and easily.